Ah, you're awake. Uh, you were in a car crash. We had to perform emergency surgery. Uh, unfortunately, there were some complications. Complications? Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, an oopsie happened with your surgery. What? What do you mean you made an oopsie? For liability reasons, I have to say that an oopsie was made. Not that I made the oopsie. See, you got your uh-ohs, your oh nos, your oopsies, your whoopsies, and your oopsie daisies. What? Oh, it's our ranking system of our clinical errors. If you want, I can show you a spreadsheet. Stop, stop, stop. What do you mean you made an oopsie? What the hell did you do to me? No, 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 not me. You're not pinning this on me. <laughs> not again. Uh, your chart was mixed up with the patient who was getting penis enlargement surgery. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. A bigger penis? Oh yeah, 12 inches. Real girthy son of a bitch. Oh yeah, doc. That's a great oopsie. No one's calling me Mini Mark anymore. Thank you so much, Doc. Oh, don't thank me just yet. Why not? Well, an uh-oh happened to your oopsie. So you were going to get the penis enlargement surgery, but then an attending surgeon caught the mistake and put you in the correct room for your surgery. Okay, so then I got the correct surgery. Oh, no. See, the uh, surgeon put you in what they thought was room three, but was actually room one. Uh, so that escalated your uh-oh into an oh no. I know what you're thinking, oh no. So room one surgery was actually plastic surgery to look like the Hamburglar. What? Why would anyone want to look like the fucking Hamburglar? I don't know. Maybe the patient likes hamburgers. How am I supposed to tell my wife? Relax, you don't need to. Because you see a whoopsie happened right before. How many oopsies or whoopsies does this hospital make? I don't know. Sounds a lot like malpractice. Okay. Again, not me. So you were in room one, but that surgery got postponed by about a month. So you were kind of just laying in there for three hours all by yourself. All right. Let me get this straight. You left me unconscious in a room all by myself? Can I finish? Anyways, whoopsies. <laughs> so the chief of surgery had dibs on room one. I know. What an asshole. Anyways, he was doing experimental surgery and you were already in there. So he just kind of assumed you were his patient and he continued. Listen, you're not making any fucking sense. Can you please just tell me what fucking surgery you did to my body for fuck's sake? Yeah, we surgically removed your kneecaps and swapped them. Uh, technically speaking, your left kneecap is in your right knee, and your right kneecap is in your left knee. Why did he do that? What, what does that even do? Oh yeah, nothing. Uh, there's no physiological change whatsoever and serves no specific function. Okay, then why did you do it? Someone bet the chief of surgery 20 bucks that he couldn't do it. Me. I bet the chief of surgery he couldn't do it. Now I'm out 20 bucks. By the way, your bill. <laughs> I'm gonna sue this hospital. Sup? So, uh, some dude's dying from a circumcision, can't find his legs. Alright, well I'm going. Found him! Ah!